And that's how you make chow mein. Cut! Great job, Joyce. That's a wrap, people. And I call dibs on the chow mein. Gabby wabby Joycey Joycey! <laughs> <laughs> We both hate these nicknames. Very much. Follow me to my dressing room. Kids, this is Joyce Chen. She's a real entrepreneur credited with bringing Mandarin food to America. She became very wealthy from her restaurant, her TV show, her cookbooks. And kitchen supplies like my innovative flat bottom wok. Flat bottom wok is also the name of my rap single. Flat bottom walking. Yeah, we flat bottom wok. How did you get so successful? The key is finding a sick beat. I was talking to Joyce. <laughs> I'll tell you. Please, make yourselves comfortable. <sighs> when my family first moved to America, my children's school had a big sale. I made some traditional egg rolls from my home in Beijing, and they sold out immediately. People in the United States were excited to taste new foods. I eventually opened a restaurant. Then I opened more restaurants. And I branched out into selling kitchen tools and sauces. With all the success, I was able to give a lot of people jobs. And now my products are served all over the world. That's a lot of success. Did you ever get any hate for it? Oh, yeah. Tons. Dear Joyce, I hate you and your simplification of traditional Chinese dishes. Love, Jack Wawawee. The seventh. Many people criticize me, but... <gasps> The way I see it, I'm helping the people of this country get a taste of my homeland with the familiar ingredients they have at their home. You got rich by helping people? But isn't that bad? There are immoral ways to get rich, sure, but success is deserved when people are served. Okay, but our neighbor says our successful business is turning us into bad people. I mean, she always says we're bad people, but this time it feels real. She said that when entrepreneurs win, it creates a bunch of losers. Creates a bunch of losers? This girl sounds like a real Corinne. You know Corinne? I know a Corinne. She's on my do not serve list. Good entrepreneurship doesn't create losers. It solves problems and serves needs. People are willing to pay me for the services I provide, and that money allows me to make more products and advertise so I can serve even more people. My family makes money, more people have jobs, and my customers get delicious food. Everyone, Everyone wins! This act is over, go to the next one. Can't argue with that, let's go, bye Joyce!